What was the other part of the question? Tell us about what, what you like about the character. Well, it's it's kind of fun to be in a leadership position to uh, to actually be responsible for something and and uh, and to be for the greater good. I'm not used to that. In as I said before, in most of my career, I play a lot of baddies or I play a lot of uh, superheroes that really have a, a dark past and sometimes even a dark agenda. So it's it's nice to be going for the greater good and to be working with a uh, a group of bots and humans that are in such an interesting environment. I really love the science environment. I was a science geek when I was a kid, so that's also a lot of fun for me. How was it different for you uh, in Prime? Obviously, you're in a room with Peter Cullen. Mm -hmm. He's Optimus, you're Starscream. Mm -hmm. Then we get to Rescue Bots, yes. and without giving away uh, too much, you're in a room with Peter Cullen. Mm -hmm. He's Optimus, and you're Heat Wave. Yeah. And you're kind of riffing on him a little bit. Uh, so how man. did that how did that feel or how did that work? From from either perspective, it's it's just different levels of awesome. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that. that. I remember being in the room for the first time with Peter and just uh, watching this normal looking man's mouth open and it was almost as though his jaw unhinged and the walls start flexing. The, the sound, the volume and the, the intensity of that voice coming out of that person and that character is immediately embodied in the room. Uh, it never gets old for me. So coming from the perspective of a Decepticon or from a, uh, an Autobot, it's equally exciting. So I don't know if that's just the little uh, eight-year-old fanboy inside me just geeking out all the time or if it's actually what the normal response should be from a, a giant robot. I don't know. Um, I will add that I think uh, Peter's involvement initially with Prime and then with Rescue Bots as well gave both a certain amount of... Um, fan credibility absolutely yeah um and quite honestly so did you i mean uh, to us your involvement with rescue bots did the same thing they really did well i'm honored i'm just happy to be part of it so. but i think i think people uh, you know fans might assume at first blush oh they're doing a younger transformer show it's going to be very kitty or it's going to be yeah. very baby um and all of a sudden i think when it's you and it's peter and 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 uh, some of the other voice casts we have i think it take it suddenly the fans are willing to at least uh, give it a shot yeah. right, where they might not otherwise. It gives them the opportunity to look a little deeper and see if there is continuity and there's something of great value uh, to be had. Would you I say no to a problem? Have you, I assume you've passed on parts in the past. I assume that there's I been... have passed on a few parts in the past, um, but you know I'm a, I'm a working voice actor, so right. I'll take most things that come along unless they really have no redeeming value, and that's when I walk out, or, or there's something that's really contrary to my belief systems. Okay. Uh, who would you love to have as a guest actor on Prime and Rescue Bots? Uh, again, mm -hmm. for this one, I, I don't want to say names just because quite often we are, in fact, pursuing our top choices. And four out of five times, we're probably managing to get them mm -hmm. in the room, uh, at least for that one session in between other things they're doing. So there will definitely be some guest voices uh, coming down the pike uh, on Prime uh, and a couple on uh, uh, Rescue Bots as well. Um, and again, for us, they tend to come from a wish list of who did we grow up worshipping, who have we seen on screen that we just love, mm -hmm. who who do we think would be fun and putting in a room with you guys. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of that. Yeah, I don't know how we can top what we've already <laughs> had. <It's, laughs> working the same room with Frank Welker and Peter Cullen. Is, but if there are, if there are well known <clears throat> uh, uh, stage and screen actors who would like us to use them, feel free. Send Steve an email. Yes, Let please. him know you'd like to be uh, on one of the two shows, Transformers Rescue Bots or Transformers Prime, and we will do what we can. You all know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas. 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 Exactly. Um, Jeff, you mentioned separating the world of Prime from the world of Rescue Bots. Do you feel they take place in the same continuity despite the differences in style? Um, great question, and the answer is absolutely. They are designed to take place in the exact same continuity. So mm -hmm. when Optimus shows up uh, on the island, he is temporarily leaving HQ in Jasper to come to uh, the island and not staying very long because he has to get back to fight a war. Um, so it is really important to us that, those, that the two shows take place in the same continuity despite their various differences. Uh, I had heard rumors of a Transformers Prime theatrical movie at some point. Is that a real possibility that is being explored? Uh, it is a real possibility. I don't want to take it any further than that because there's so many things that have to go right for it to happen. Um, but uh, we actually screened the, the end of season episodes from season one uh, at a theater out here uh, called The Arclight, um, and I think people were sort of surprised at how feature quality that show looked um, on a big screen. And again, that was season one. Season two is going to look even better. So I think that really got people talking about maybe there's a way to bring the Prime Universe into an animated feature as well. Um, but I suspect... As long as we're doing the TV series, 
we'll we'll focus on that, and the movie would maybe be something that comes after the series. So, I'd be all for that. I, I, I that that's he, not a job I would pass on. Um, fans appreciate the strong female characters in Prime. Will we ever see female rescue bots? I hope so. <laughs> 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 Heatwave could use a little love. It's, well, it's true. It's true. <laughs> um, I think uh, the answer is uh, the answer is probably. <laughs> um, the interesting thing, uh, and this may be old news for a lot of you who've been in this world before, but, um, you know, there's an age where little boys won't play with what they perceive to be girls' things anymore. Yeah. Um, and then they get older, and then they're okay with girls' things again, especially girls. Mm -hmm. um, so we walk that line a little bit with rescue bots. Um, but, uh, you know, we've tried to put in a, a strong female presence, obviously, with Danny. There's some other female characters coming down the pike as well. Um, so uh, we'll definitely try to keep a balance. Uh, let's see. I think we're waiting right. on. Um, so just for the sake of um, uh, educating me, how did you get started in all this stuff? Like, oh, where did no. this all begin? You don't have to go I, long. I, just... I started in anime accidentally uh, almost 20 years ago and uh, just started doing it on the sides while I was building a completely different career. I had no idea I was going to be doing this for a living. What was the other career? I was, well, it was sort of a dual thing. I was heading up the corporate ladder at a film studio, okay. ended up as head of marketing at a film studio. I was an executive. Uh, didn't want to do that. I really wanted to be a musician, and I wasn't very good at it. So fortunately, the anime sort of happened on the side and carried me on through many years. But, and how, but how did that first gig happen? Because you're... You're performing music, you're working as an executive, how do you, did you just send in an audition for something blind? Or? Uh, no, a friend of mine asked me to come to an audition, and he was going to pay me $7 a line to do it and feed me breakfast and lunch, and I was a starving artist at the time, so I thought that was the best deal possible on a Saturday. So, uh, okay, I think we're out of time here. Uh, oh, oh, yes. We're supposed to say, join us on the Hub's Facebook page if uh, you didn't have your question uh, answered. Uh, that'll be going up uh, another... Uh, the uh, chat will be going up at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and we uh, will actually be taking questions from fans uh, as well. But if you guys have anything else that you didn't get a chance to ask, uh, we'd be happy to cover it. Aren't we all fans anyway? So again, I'm going to repeat it because it's the number one message point that they handed to me. Uh, Transformers Rescue Bots premieres Saturday, February 18 at noon Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time on The Hub. And Transformers Prime, second season of the Daytime Emmy Award, multiple Emmy Award winning Transformers Prime. Uh, premieres Saturday, February 18th, uh, with the first episode of a special three-part at uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which I guess would be 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's math. I don't do math. Uh, we thank you guys very, very much for this, and uh, maybe we'll see some of you again at 1 o'clock. Thanks, guys.